It's 4.30 p.m. on Sunday, October 11th, and I think Thaddeus Lewis is still throwing touchdowns somewhere. Welcome to the Chronicle Sports Blogs podcast. I'm Ben Cohen alongside Andy Moore, here to break down Duke's 49-28 victory over NC State yesterday in Raleigh. Before we get into anything that happened in the game, Andy, it's probably worth mentioning all of the streaks that this game broke. First win in Raleigh since 1984, first road ACC victory since 2003, first win over a big four team since 2003 David Cutcliffe's first road ACC victory you can go on and on and on you could list everything that Thaddeus Lewis did but what was the key to this victory how did Duke come out of Carter Finley Stadium with a win to even up its schedule well Ben the key was Thaddeus Lewis he went 40 for 50 459 yards uh, a lot of those incompletions were actually drops it wasn't even his fault I mean, it's it's very rare to, to really say that one player made the difference, but he really did. He stopped any quarterback controversy with Sean Renfrey. He he, I mean, he was the he was the key. He was he was amazing in the game. And to me, this was the Thaddeus Lewis we expected all season. Five touchdowns in the air, one on the ground, just led methodical drive after methodical drive down the field. When you think about it, Duke should have had another offensive touchdown. Raekwon Boyette fumbled inside the five. I mean, this was David Cutcliffe said it best. This was. The, the best game from a quarterback that he's ever had. And that's coming from a guy who coached Eli Manning, who coached Peyton Manning, who coached T. Martin, who coached Keith Schuler, who coached Todd Helton, Todd Helton <laughs> who coached Eric Ames. The list goes on and on and on. And, you know, that's the highest praise, you know, that you could imagine. Uh, and, and I think it's no wonder that this is a game that he's going to cherish and put up on his wall forever, or at least until, you know, it gets knocked off by more and more wins. But for me, you know, as good as Thad Lewis was, Duke doesn't win this game without a defensive resurgence in the second half. This this was a game that it was a shootout for the first half. Teams traded touchdowns, and you know suddenly and really unexpectedly, Duke's defense turned it up a notch and didn't let up a score for the last 38 minutes of the game. I mean, it really was a shootout. There wasn't a punt until a minute left in the uh, first half. I mean, and after that though, uh, the the defense was just unstoppable. The the last offensive touchdown came with eight minutes left in the first half, and. Really, nobody could have expected that with uh, with Russell Wilson. I mean, how good he's been this year, and and you know, how good he looked for the first part of the game. So, what does this do for for the rest of Duke's season? We have Duke has a bye week this week, so they have an idle week to heal. Going into an idle week with a win, a road ACC win over a in state opponent is just, you know, this is as moment. Th- this gives them more momentum than they could have ever dreamed. They probably should be four and two because I mean if if they could if they could play that Richmond game now I would think that mo- I, I mean they should win that game three and three with their next three games against Maryland Virginia and UNC three of you know the worst teams in the ACC do they use this win as a building block for the future not only for the future in terms of recruiting but in the more immediate future is this a game they can build on and maybe you know salvage their season a little bit well i think it was definitely on the end of on their uh, their minds at the end of the game i mean thaddeus at the end of the game said that he hadn't played his best game yet cuz he had six more to go he uh, i mean they're they're thinking about it right now and while the the bowl i mean looks like an outside shot with the two uh, non conference Losses or the the one non-conference loss and the one against one in state central didn't really matter, and at the same time, uh, it's it's definitely looks doable. That was a, that was an excellent team that we saw yesterday. And if Thaddeus Lewis keeps playing like this, you never know what's going to happen. Thanks for joining us on the Chronicles Sports Vlogs podcast. We'll be back soon.